it's Monday morning and I went to some garage sales with my dad on Saturday, but I didn't film because I'm really far behind on editing footage and I just didn't want to add more to it, but I ended up finding a ton of good stuff. So real quickly, I just want to show you guys what I found. Uh, first sale of the day, we got a ton of stuff. Um, this was actually on the lady's wall, this vintage Sohio sign. She stored for BP, uh, which was formerly Sohio. Um, so she had this and she sold it to me for two bucks. I got this headbands game, new in the plastic for like a dollar or two. Might just keep it. We do family game night a lot. So might be fun. Got a Scrabble game for a dollar. I like picking these up because I just hoard up the tiles and then just sell them all as a big lot once I get a lot of them. We went to a church sale where I got a ton of really good stuff, including this Pioneer tape deck. It's a little dirty and needs cleaned up, but it was a dollar. And the comps were showing that it's selling for about 40. Got this sweater for a buck. It is Puritan brand. Um, I saw that the some of these were selling okay. I don't do a lot with clothes, but anytime I see something, I think I can make a little bit on it, pick it up. Got this mag baseball glove for two bucks. That should sell for about 15 or 20. Got this really cool uh, flight stick joystick controller. Definitely vintage. It's got like the old computer connectors. I paid five for it and it looks like it's selling for like 40 or 50. I got a Michael Kors purse. Um, it's definitely genuine. I paid four bucks for it. Honestly, don't know what it's worth. Maybe 20 or 30. I don't know a lot about purses, but I know like Coach sells pretty well, Michael Kors and some of the other brands. Got this bust. I thought it was really cool. It's uh, stamped Austin Productions. I've sold some stuff from that company before. I think I had a clown not too long ago from that company. Um, I paid five bucks for that. And then I got all this stuff too. Um, just a ton of stuff. So one sale lady had a lot of vintage Hot Wheels. Um, these are primarily from the 80s. Um, they were all like a buck a piece. So most of these I paid a dollar each for. And then I did a bundle deal on some other stuff. She had these slick toy farm implements. There was like seven of them. Then she had these uh, train glasses. Look ahead, look south. There's four of those. And she had these. I think there's eight of these. Um, paper wraps for Coke bottles. Coke bottle wraps. Put some cool advertising on them. And then this lamp here. This Art Deco lamp. I got the lamp, the glasses, the Coke things, and the farm toys for 40 bucks. At the same sale, she had these uh, college football mini helmets. There are nine of them. I got all nine of those for 20 bucks. Then at a different sale, I got these Sohio glasses. This is that first sale of the day where I got that sign. Um, these were all 50 cents a piece. So some cool advertising glasses. At the church sale, I got this whole box or whole bin of uh, Coleco Quiz Whiz, like computer cartridge games. Looks like this one's missing. Some of these might just be the cases, unfortunately, but this one looks like it's got it. Um, I got all those for a buck. So I've got maybe 10 cents into each one. They're not worth a whole lot. Maybe like 10 to 15 each, something like that. The better find at that church sale, I think, were these hats. These vintage hats, um, these were all 50 cents a piece. These are like old Chevy Racing, NASCAR, um, Dynamo, like a soccer team. I like this old Chevy hat. That's got a cool look to it. I got some cassette tapes. Um, these were, I think, a dollar for all eight of them. Um, pretty good titles, too. The Cars, Rolling Stones, Van Halen, Tom Petty, Bon Jovi. Uh, got a couple records. Blurb, Skinner, and Boston. Those are two bucks a piece. And then I got these vintage Taft Theater, uh, like Broadway type musical uh, posters. Uh, the Taft Theater is in Cincinnati, and these are all original. So here's the advertising down at the bottom. I think they're primarily from the 70s and 80s, but they've just got some awesome graphics. So I got these four and all these here. There's 11 of them total. And I paid 15 bucks for all of them. That's 
that's what she was asking and i was like that sounds good to me and they're all framed and everything so i was pretty excited about those that's it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time